Hello, my dear friends. Today we will talk about how to save our vision when using um, different gadgets like a laptop, smartphone or a tablet. And we will start from the laptop. Most people think that the laptop is much better than a personal computer because it takes less space, it's elegant, it can be used everywhere, at home, in the office or um, during the trips. But it's not like that. I strongly recommend to use it only during the trips. Why? Because the screen, the size of the screen of a laptop as a rule, it's, it's, much, it's much smaller. So it takes more effort for our eyes to see and to use it. So it takes more attention. If even we get used to it, it doesn't say that actually this is useful for our eyes. Okay, so it's not relaxing at all. So um, if you are traveling, please don't use it while you are moving especially when uh, you could notice that there is a trembling. For example, when you're driving a car or when you are a passenger, so don't use it in a car at all. As for the train and airplane, you should use it um, for some time with brakes. For example, not more than 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then have a break you can sleep, you can uh, just uh, close your eyes and relax. Because otherwise, uh, it will be a stress for your eyes, especially in a plane when there is a lack of um, uh, oxygen, when there is a difference in pressure, so it could be also damaging for your blood vessels and for your health, and of course for the health of your eyes. So when you're on a plane, uh, try to do more pauses and breaks while you are watching your favorite movie or when you are trying to work on the laptop. If you are traveling in a train, the, the, there is the same rule. Because anyway, um, there is a little bit... Uh, you could feel that it's trembling a little bit. Anyway, it's not static. Of course, our modern train allows us to... to uh, not to feel it, but anyway, the trembling causes the, the tension in the ciliary muscle. So that's what you should take into account. Okay. And as for using the laptop at home, I don't recommend it to use it at home. Uh, instead, you should use the personal computer with a big screen. But if you don't want to buy uh, another personal computer, you could also um, do the following. The first thing you, you, you should do is to buy a stand. So this is a, the stand. You could, you could use it for the laptop. Okay. Uh, first, you should, um, you should move the laptop up so your screen um, is approximately the same level of your eyes. So when you look at the screen, you shouldn't look down. When you look down, it causes tension in your superior rectus muscle, in this one, okay, when you look down. And you're getting tired much faster. So if you use a stand with a laptop, it's a better solution. But there is a better solution than this one as well. You can um, put the laptop here and use the monitor. And you can connect the monitor to your laptop and use the fireless keyboard and wireless mouse. So you turn your laptop into a personal computer at home. And this, uh, why it's more convenient and why it's uh, much safer for your eyes? Because your eyes, they don't need to 
get strength to see better. The big area of the screen allow you to work with the bigger space, okay? And so it's more relaxing. Um, the next thing you should notice, you should take into account is the distance. At what distance is it better to work on PC in front of um, the monitor? The distance depends on the um, on your vision equity, actually. If your vision equity is, is very low, for example, you are highly myopic, minus uh, 8, minus, minus um, 9, or minus 10, the distance will be very close. Uh, of course, you could try to wear glasses, but it's not recommended to wear glasses when you're working on PC, because your, your vision will be suffering. So try to use no glasses or contact lenses when working on PC, if even you have to work close. It, it's much better because you can play with the distance, you can um, look far, um, so it, it's much better. If you are, um, if you have a normal vision, if you, and if you are trying to save it, then the normal distance is like um, a hand, like here, so approximately one meter for this type of monitor. Okay. Um, what is also important? How to organize the um, working desk? Um, and how to move it, how to, to, to move it in, in the room. It's better when the window is just opposite your eyes, not on the side. On the side is, a, is also a good option, but you shouldn't see like uh, the window is behind you. This is the very bad option. You, you should see it in front of the window. Um, how does it benefit for your eyes? Because from time to time you can have a break and you can look far when looking out of the window and looking through the window. So you can have a break uh, for 5 or 10 minutes and it will be very relaxing for your eyes. If you are sitting next to the window, for example, the window is on the left, and you are sit your table is like this, it's also fine because you can turn your head to the left and you can look far as well, but it, it's less preferable. So the best option is to, to put the table just opposite the window so you could look through the window and change the distance of your gaze. Okay? Uh, what is also important? Why is so important to um, put the monitor at the same height of your eyes because it saves your eye muscles. So it, it, may, it causes less tension when you look like this rather than when you look like this. So this superior muscle is it's more relaxed and, more, and other muscles are also more relaxed. They don't need to work so much. And it's good. The only muscle which is in tonus is the ciliary muscle. Your close work causes a lot of tension for your ciliary muscle. The, the ciliary muscle surrounds your lens in your right eye, in your left eye. And to balance its work, you have to look far from time to time. So this is the rule. The same height, approximately, or at this angle. And looking far. Uh, 